When dealing with effects processors that have so many built-in features, sometimes it's easy to overlook what could be some of the most useful features in these. And that is the case sometimes, a lot of times, with the Line 6 Helix. There's so much going on under the hood, so many really great workflow abilities built into it that a lot of folks may not even realize some of those things are there and are really missing out on utilizing to make their lives a lot easier. One of those things is, and something that I feel might just be one of the most useful, maybe unrealized feature on the Helix is the auto engage abilities of the expression pedal. Now, some of you folks may be very well aware of this and, and use it all the time. And there's probably a lot of folks who are just unaware it's there because it's kind of hidden in a bit of a strange place. So we're gonna talk about how we can get that set up and some of the ways that we can use that today. So here I am over in HX Edit, and I have a little preset set up that I just used my template on. I loaded up a matchstick channel too. Uh, with its corresponding stock cab that comes up, I really didn't touch the settings on it. Um, I just have my normal little template here, and this tone sounds like this. nice little tone there. So nothing really being controlled by the expression pedal yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by taking a look at maybe one of the most used effects that we would use the expression pedal and that is a wah pedal. So what happens when we just load any wah here from our list of wah pedals? I'm going to grab the chrome and we notice here that if I go down to my expression pedal which is down here off to the side and I move it I simply move from zero to a hundred percent. Now if I use the toe button that's built into the Helix expression pedal, I press that, you see that that turns the wah pedal off. When I click it, it turns it back on. So pretty simple stuff, really. Works as advertised. But here's the thing. What if we don't want to have to always be pressing that toe switch? What if we would like that to just kind of kick on whenever we move the pedal? Well, that's very possible within the Helix. So we have to come over to our bypass controller assigned page here, and I'm gonna click that. Now, one thing you'll notice right away though is there's two automatic settings when we load the wah pedal in here. We have the parameter bypass being controlled by the expression pedal toe switch, which is what I just demonstrated. But we also have the position of the wah pedal being controlled by expression pedal one, and the position being where it is in its range of motion here from zero to 100%. And then when we click that toe switch, it goes on and off. Well, we wanna concentrate on the bypass portion of it, the bypass parameter. If I come over here and change the bypass parameter from being controlled by the pedal toe switch and move it to just expression pedal one, now it will also be controlled just with the movement of the pedal rather than that toe switch. So that toe switch has completely been taken out of the equation. So you will notice that if I come back over here, I'm still controlling the position of my wah from zero to 100, but you'll notice it's kind of acting erratic now. It's turning on and off in weird ways. And that's because now that we're controlling the bypass state with the expression pedal itself rather than the toe switch, there are some settings we have to look at and we have position, we have weight, we have behavior and we have MIDI in. The MIDI in is just gonna give us the ability to trigger with an external MIDI device, the ability to turn on and off the wah or whatever effect is assigned to the expression pedal. That's beyond the scope of this video because we're not talking about external MIDI devices. We're just talking about using the built-in pedal as we have it. So the position, well, this is going to tell us at what point in the range of motion you know, from zero to a hundred here, that we're going to have an action taken, either turning the wah effect in this case on or off. So when set to 5%, it's going to either engage or disengage that pedal depending on our other settings. And I'll demonstrate this in a moment. The wait time is how long it's going to take to turn off. But a lot of times when we get to a certain position, we may want it to wait a little bit longer just so it doesn't always just instantly flip on and off. And again, I'll demonstrate this in a moment. And we can go anywhere from zero milliseconds all the way up to a thousand milliseconds or one second. Okay, we'll just leave that here around 285 or wherever. I think it was set around 300. <clears throat> okay, now the behavior is a little interesting. We have either toggle, we have heel down 
or we have toe down. So let's deal with those one at a time. So in the toggle position, when it reaches the position we set, it's going to basically do the opposite of whatever state it was already in. So let's say I start here with the wah pedal disengaged. What's going to happen, depending on where I am here, is when I reach that 5% point, it's going to do the opposite of what it's set at. So watch what happens when I get down to the 5%, you're gonna notice it's going to turn itself on. When I go back past the 5%, it's going to turn itself back off. Now you'll notice it takes a little longer when I go back up past it, when it turns off, it's done instantly. But when I come back down, there's a little bit of a wait. And that's because I came over here and set the weight to a thousand milliseconds. If I set that to say 299, you're gonna notice it's going to happen a little bit faster. And if I came and set that to zero, you're gonna notice that that's gonna happen almost instantaneously in both directions. So that's what the weight control is doing. Now, we might not want that. This would seem to be kind of useless because we go, well, it's, it's turned on here, but as soon as I get past the 5%, you know, it turns itself off. So what I can simply do is get down here below the 5% and then toggle it off. And now when I go above the 5%, it's going to toggle on. <laughs> And as soon as I come back below that 5%, it's gonna go off. Now, the wait time can be very useful here. Let's say I set that up to a thousand milliseconds so that when I do come back down below, It's not going to trigger instantly when I go below that. So if I wanted to use my full range of my wah pedal, then it's going to make it a lot easier. I, I don't have to be worried about it just instantly shutting off. Whereas if I had that set to shut off instantly, you would see that every time I go down below that 5%, <laughs> We don't really want it bouncing back and forth like that on and off. So we can set it to wait before it does that. Pretty simple stuff. And you can see how this could be very useful for us. And we could set this anywhere we wanted. We could have it kick in only at the 50% mark, let's say. <laughs> Where we set those is really going to be up to us and up to our own personal tastes and what we're trying to accomplish. Now, when we come down to the behavior control, we see that that is just going to toggle it from whatever state it was in previous. Well, I can also do this, set it to either heel down or toe down. Now, what this is telling us is in heel down, every time the heel goes down, it's going to shut the wall off. In this case here, every time I go toe down, it's going to shut the wall off. So in this case here, You'll notice if I go down to position being zero, as soon as I bring that heel down, always going to turn off. Even if I'm already on here, Next time I get back there, it's not going to just toggle from its previous state. It's always going to turn off. So if we always know that we're going to want our wah turned off in the heel down position, that would be the setting. Now we can still have a position set for where we want it to happen though. Um, I could still have it set at say 20%. I'll just lengthen the wait time a little bit here. Uh, we can still have it happen at the 20%. <laughs> I could even have it up really, really high. So what it's telling me now is that 70% is the closer to the heel down position on the way down, it's gonna shut off there. It's gonna engage and disengage. Right now what you'll notice with the wait time, if I put that back up to the thousand milliseconds, when this hits, it's going to engage instantly. 
but it's going to take a whole second to turn back off. And we can also do the same behavior in the toe down position. So we're going to notice that it's off right now. When I go toe down, it doesn't engage itself because it's not toggling. But as soon as I remove myself from that toe down position, that's the opposite behavior so a lot of possibilities and a lot of options and again i could also set this down here at say 35 percent so that when it reaches there and that's i'm gonna bring this down just to illustrate that down to zero You'll see at 35%, it instantly turns off. So it's going to really be up to us to decide which behavior we want to use. Uh, toe down, heel down is really nice for myself. I enjoy that. It feels more natural. Um, and then the position that you're going to set that at is going to really be up to you. A lot of times I'm down in a, in a very low range here in zero to, to 1% and set a bit of a wait time so it doesn't false fire and, and turn the effect off when you want it to stay on. But again, those are going to be things that you're going to have to do and practice with to, to get a feel for what the settings are that's going to work best for your particular situation. Now, can we use this for other effects as well? Well, let's get rid of our wall and let's grab something else here. And what I'll do is I'll grab the uh, pitch whams or the whammy pedal. We're going to go through the same motions, right? We come over to bypass controller assign. You'll see it automatically assigns bypass to the pedal toe switch. I'm going to switch that over to match up with pedal one, just like we did with the wah pedal. And again, the same thing is going to happen here, right? I could have this set to, uh, you know, a heel pitch of zero and a toe pitch of plus 24, which would sound like this. <laughs> Right now, you'll notice with the settings that we have right now, it's toggling on and off from its previous behavior. So if it was already on, it's going to now in the heel position be on if it was off before that. And if I have that the other way, then it's going to do the opposite, just like we talked about. Um, if I go heel down in say a 500 millisecond wait time, and I'll just put the position at zero. What you're gonna notice here is it's going to turn off when I get to the zero position and turn on immediately upon hitting it. So working much in the same way that the wah pedal did. So if we understand how these parameters work, what they're doing, uh, it really does open a lot of possibilities up. So as I mentioned before, there's a lot of you who are probably well aware of this feature in the Helix, but it is one of those features that's kind of hidden if we don't know where to look or what to select to find it. And I think it is one of those features that a lot of folks could get use out of, especially in live situations. I use it all the time, especially with my HX Stomp pedal board, with my Mission Engineering Expression pedals. When you've got a lot going on on your pedal board and you want one less thing to worry about, not having to like, you know, hard press a switch to engage a pedal, and you know that as soon as you put your foot on it, it's going to just do what you want it to do. You dial that in so it's really working in a way that's comfortable for you. Uh, it really does make our workflow and the ease of use much simpler. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please share the video with anybody who you think would get some use or enjoyment out of watching it. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content out. I will be back really soon with some more. Thanks so much for tuning in. Ciao for now.